What's up my Shuggies? Ashley here and in today's video I am going to be going over some of my favorite IKEA products. Over the years I have been able to decorate my home as well as organize my home with some amazing classic pieces that won't break the bank but are going to help elevate your home and make it look more luxurious and high-end. All of these pieces are classic and functional as well as being super affordable. So if you're interested in seeing my IKEA favorite picks then just keep watching. All right, you guys, we are starting off in the living room and this is the first Ikea favorite that is classic that I'm gonna talk about and it is this beautiful floating shelf. I absolutely love these. These come in two different lengths and a ton of different finishes. So if you don't like the white and you want more color or a pop of more wood tone, then they definitely have that option for you. These happen to fit the space that I needed perfectly so I didn't have to cut or trim them. So if you did have to, I'm sure you would be able to repair them if needed. However, in my case, I didn't have to do that. So the thickness on these is really nice. They're very substantial. They come with everything you need. I will say I ended up doing on this side because there's a ton of heavy stuff on the shelf, a couple of extra screws just to give that extra support. I've had no issues with these whatsoever. Nothing falling, nothing leaning, anything like that as far as support goes. And I've had them for I would say a year and a half, almost two years now. So they've definitely withstood the test of time. They're definitely nice and classic. And like I said, I feel like they look really nice and high-end because they're super thick. They have a really nice finish to them. They don't look cheap. They don't look flimsy. Even the seams, the detail of the seams, I'm gonna try and see if my camera will, will focus. There's no raw edge. Everything is clean and crisp. So if you're interested in doing something like this in your living room, maybe in a movie room, anything like that, I would definitely recommend these. They also have a couple of different other styles that I would recommend as well. So definitely check out the website. I will try to link these below for you guys. And let me know if you already have them, what you guys think, if you've had good experiences with them so far, so good for these floating shelves. Next up, we are going to talk about this amazing shelf, and I have seen this used in so many different ways. If you watched any of my recent videos, I've talked about this shelf. It is also where I show all the different ways that you can utilize this. I personally store all of my shoes in here. I believe there's about 37 pairs. I have everything from heels to boots to sneakers, and I love it because it's clear, it's simplistic, it keeps the dust off of everything so you can see exactly what you have. You never have to guess and of course it helps keep everything organized. Some examples that I have seen people utilize this other than a shoe shelf, they have stored clothes inside, they have stored office supplies inside, you could put some really nice crates or baskets inside, color coordinated, size coordinated, just so you have a lot of organization. I also love that this comes in multiple colors, so if you don't like the stark white, then you could definitely opt for, I believe, a black or even paint it yourself. My favorite feature of this personally is something that seems so simplistic, but I love, and that is the inset groove. There is no handle, there is no hardware. It's very simplistic and clean. I love that about it. I feel like that really makes it well-rounded to where it's gonna match and go with anybody's aesthetic and anybody's decor. I would also like to note that I've moved this thing around the room a million times, and I know sometimes people say that IKEA furniture can be a little bit flimsy, but so far, so good. I also wanted to note that it did come with a kit, so if you have children, you are able to attach this to the wall so you don't have to worry about it not being stable and coming down. As far as size, I think it's a really nice size to me it's quintessential it's not too deep and it's not too shallow so it's not going to be something that's not going to be able to fit a pair of shoes as you can see inside here i have a pair of rather large boots 
and if I were to push them all the way to the back I still have about four to five inches in front of them so you definitely could place your shoes all the way against the wall and still have all of that room in front if you wanted to double stack them or like I said put clothes you definitely have room for tons of stuff I have also seen where people have replaced the glass or put something on top of the glass such as fabric or cane to give it a lot of texture and depth that's also a good option as well and then because of the height if you wanted to of course you could store some stuff on top too to give it a really nice height in a really oversized room the retail value of this super affordable I believe I paid right under $300 I will link it below for you so you can see the exact price I'm sure of course it has changed with everything going on so it may have gone up a little bit but really really good value for the quality of this unit let me know in the comments below if you guys have this what you utilize it for and we will move on to the next Ikea favorite next up I wanted to show you guys this other option for shelving it's not a floating shelf but it does have a nice little touch of stainless steel on the sides these do come in multiple colors you can get them in white with a stainless steel you can get them in stainless steel with a stainless steel end cap so tons of options to choose from and as you can see these also match a ton of different decor styles and aesthetics so if you have a decor style similar to mine this would match perfectly well if you had a decor style more modern these would work really well because of the fact that they have this stainless steel accent I feel like that could really lean modern as well they're just really versatile and really beautiful and simple and classic and I feel like will never go out of style these are something that you could take with you into another home and also utilize in rooms other than the bathroom. For mine, I utilize them just for decor and to give some height above the toilet. I have this little rustic tray with a geode on it, a DIY vessel with some greenery hanging out of the top, and a ton of different vessels I have found from Target and Home Goods. I also incorporated this domain mirror from Home Goods. I absolutely love this. The detail on this is amazing. If you ever find domain mirrors at any of your Home Goods, they're such a good quality product. I would highly, highly recommend getting them. I feel like, again, they're very broad in the fact that they will match so many different decor styles as well. So I wanted to show you this other option as far as shelving because Ikea has a ton of great options to choose from. Before we leave the bathroom, I also wanted to show you these curtains. If you, again, follow me on Instagram, I have posted these on a reel. I had an extra pair of these lying around that I had hemmed too short. So instead of getting rid of them, I kept them and thank the Lord that I did because I decided to do a little DIY. I was wondering if I could get that same pinch pleat look with shower curtain rings and you guys it worked out perfectly i got these round shower curtain rings from target and i put them in the back of this curtain and it worked out perfect because when you turn it around it looks like the perfect pinch pleat and you just see a little bit of that ring now if you wanted to add because ikea does carry the rings for the actual curtains to give them that pinch pleat ring look with the hook. You could totally do that too, but I wanted to give it a little bit of a hybrid shower curtain slash regular curtain look. So I will link this curtain rod. It's my favorite. It's from Target, totally adjustable and matte black. I will also link these rings for you. And then these curtains are from Ikea. I will put the name either in the description box or on the screen. And then just on the inside, I lined it with a liner so you don't have to worry about ruining these if you get them wet. And the best part is, as you can see down here, I just split it in half and I put the other half over here. So when you're showering, you just close the curtain as such and you don't have to worry about any water spilling out because you have the liner, it's just split in two. So let me know what you guys think of this idea I came up with. It's worked out really well so far and it's so affordable because both of these curtain panels were less than $14. Moving on to the guest bedroom, if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen the newest reel that I posted, one of the newest reels that I posted. I've been posting so many reels, I love doing them. They're so much fun to get into and get creative with, but I posted a reel of these two amazing products that I just found literally days ago in store and I absolutely love them this pillow in specific is from home goods I love it and this pillow is from Ikea I feel like they were literally made for each other I also love the fact that these pillows right here are from home goods but I saw 
almost an exact replica of them at Ikea. They're just simple black velvet. So if you were looking to replicate something like this in your home, a guest bedroom, master bedroom, whatever the case may be, definitely check them out. I also have been looking for a comforter that was a linen-like material and I have found it, you guys. I'm going to see if it will focus so I can give you an up-close and personal look at all of the detail that this comes with. So that's probably the best that I can get, but it has a very organic look to it, a very organic feel. It feels like a really nice, thick, organic cotton. It's very nice and soft to the touch. And the best part about it is it is a duvet cover and it comes with snaps. So talk about ease of access when you're cleaning, when you're washing the duvet cover, bleaching it, whatever the case may be. It's so nice that it comes with that feature. It's a very simplistic duvet, the same exact thing all the way around, no texture, no color. I did get mine in the full queen size and I will show you it fits perfectly. Sometimes I worry about the queen size because on the sides of the bed or the front of the bed it may be a little bit too short but as you can see here it's perfectly fine it drapes over really nicely and it just gives a really nice organic touch to this modern room did I mention how cost-effective this was the entire set which was the duvet cover and the two shams was about 30 bucks so you literally cannot beat that I have looked at Amazon I've looked at Macy's I've looked at Target I've looked at so many different stores this is definitely the best that I have found now as far as inserts go they do have some really affordable versions I will link the exact one that I got because I love the thickness of this it is from Macy's I got mine on sale and they I believe they still have a couple of different options available so I'll link those below for you but I also would check out Ikea if you do go in store because they have a ton of inserts that are super affordable as well so you don't have to break the bank another shortcut I like to use is using an old comforter inside obviously with the white you wouldn't want to go with anything that's too dark but if you did have something that's old maybe stained don't throw it away just use it put it inside this duvet so you have a nice crisp clean look on your bed while we're here I want to talk about one of my favorite curtains every single curtain 95% of the curtains in my house are from Ikea this is a really nice thick curtain. So if you were looking for something linen-like, if you were looking for something really heavy, if you are looking for something that's extra luxe and pottery barn type vibe, then this is for you. I love the top of this. As you can see here, it's got a really nice pinch pleat look to it. And I paired it with this simple black um, curtain rod and it looks amazing on this window. I love the fullness that it brings as well as the height options. They give so many different options for you to choose from. If it's too long, you can always hem it, but I love these curtains. They're super supple. And as you can see here with the light shining through, it does have a lot of texture. So if you're looking for something similar to this, definitely check these out. I will list the name either on the screen or in the description box. Now, these are the other version I wanted to show you guys. I recently added the rings. That's what I was just talking about in the bathroom. These ones are actually from Ikea, and I will try to show you, as you can see here, so there's the ring and then the hook, and you hook it onto the white strings that are on the back of the curtain, and that gives you the little pinch pleat look with the rings on top of the rod. This rod is super old. It is also from Ikea. I have tried to look for it online. I have not been able to find it, but I did want to show you guys what that looks like as well as show you the other curtains that I have. These I have on almost every single one of my windows. And then the other version in the guest bedroom is kind of a one-off because they're a lot thicker and heavier. These are just super thin. I wanted as much light to still come in as possible because we don't have a super naturally lit home. Otherwise, I would probably use the other curtains because they're so luxe looking, but these are really nice and light and flowy. So if you're looking for something to have a lot of movement and you still want a lot of natural sunlight to come in, then I would definitely recommend these for you. They're amazing. I love them. I have two packs on here. So one pack on this side with the two panels and then another pack on the other side four panels total, but two panels come in each pack. I also got the standard length, so if you're concerned, because I know they have two different lengths, I only had to get the standard length, which I believe is 98 inches. I will also show you the exact same thing on the exact same rod, but this is what it looks like without those rings 
hanging. It gives it a really nice clean look, a little bit more simplistic. So if you're going for that look, then I would definitely do this. And then the one prior to was obviously with the rings. It gives it a little bit more of a flowy, dressier look. But the same exact curtains, same exact rod. And as you can see, there's a lot of light coming through because they're really nice and flowy and thin. I also wanted to talk about these picture frames. I was looking for some really nice, massive ones to layer on top of each other for the top of the shelves because there's a lot of space between the shelf and the ceiling. And these worked out perfect. They are two different sizes. So this is one size, this is the smaller size, and then this is one size and the smaller size. The only difference is I've turned this one vertical, I've turned this one horizontal, and those are bo both horizontal. So if you are looking to print some pictures and put them in some really cost-effective frames, then I would definitely recommend checking out Ikea. These are really nice quality. They have a ton of styles to choose from, and I will zoom in so you can see the texture of these is really nice as well. Simplistic and traditional. I feel like it's not too modern, it's not too simple, it's just enough. They also have a ton of different color and size options as well. Next up, I wanted to talk about some kitchen goods. I just recently got these. I absolutely am so astonished at how high quality these are. You guys, these are the most beautiful glasses ever and they were so affordable. These could be utilized for so many different things, whether it's fruit cups, sorbet, dessert, champagne, you name it. I feel like they're just so gorgeous. If you had an open shelf that you wanted to display some glasses on, these would be perfect as well because they have so much light beaming off of them because they have so much texture and cuts throughout the glass. They are really nice and thick, so I'm not worried about breaking them, which I would normally be really scared with something this shallow but they really have a nice weight to them as well as thickness in the top of them stem and base even the base has a ton of texture as you can see these just are really nice quality glasses that i absolutely wish i would have gotten another set of moving on to the board this is a classic board from ikea i'm sure you all have seen this but i love this this is like the quintessential charcuterie board if you are looking for something that has substance it's a really nice tone of wood this is a little bit on the expensive side. It's under $40, but it is well worth it. It's massive. I would say it's a good 20 inches long and maybe 10 inches um, wide. It has a really nice thick stem on the end and even a hole. So if you wanted to do something like I posted a few weeks ago on my Instagram where you hang a bunch of boards on a um, metal rod, then you definitely could do that with this as well because it does have that round hole at the end for you to put a hook on and then hang it on the wall if you wanted to do something like that. But I love this, this is really nice. It's an affordable little setup here if you wanted to have a girls night, a charcuterie board, dessert board, anything like that. This is a really, really nice piece to have in your collection. I also wanted to show you guys really quickly the other style. This is the stainless steel on stainless steel color combination and how these don't look stark and too bare, if that makes sense. I warm them up with a lot of wood, a lot of greenery. I have these nice little accents on the wall, so there's lots to warm up this space. I have this nice piece of driftwood from Home Goods and a ton of goodies to just add lots of color, texture, and dimension to these nice stainless steel shelves. They are the perfect width if you have a standard size toilet and space above it. That way it's bringing everything up and elongating everything, giving you that nice bright look to any room. So I wanted to show you guys the other combination and I will get online and see what other colors they have available. And of course, link everything in the description box down below. All right, the last item I wanted to talk about was a recent pickup as well. This is, I believe, Stop. This is a really nice, lightweight, rubber, elastic, stretchable liner that you can put under any carpet that is going to help it to not skid. And you guys, this is really good. It is a huge, huge roll for, I believe, six or seven bucks. It is 78, almost 79 inches long, and then 26 and 5 eighths inches wide. So a little bit over two feet wide. Really good bang for your buck. If you are looking for a liner for underneath your carpet, this is definitely a really good option. And again, definitely not going to break the bank. So I will see if I can find this and link it below for you guys. I also want to talk about these beautiful bamboo 
drawer organizers. I've had these forever. They still have them. They're a classic and they will fit anything in any drawer. But this one is a perfect combination for a standard drawer. I have this one for my regular knives and scissors and then this one for my bigger, larger knives. It even has a nice pocket here to put some other small items in and I still have a little room in the middle if I wanted to add another pair of scissors or something down there. It's perfect. It's beautiful. They're nice and lightweight. A really nice color and super affordable. Now here is the other one. This is a nice six compartment organizer. I put all of my silverware in here. As you can see, if you wanted to put some serving ware in here, it's really nice and deep um, in the front three sections. So it would fit serving ware perfectly. And then in the back, I have some small appetizer spoons, some small spatulas and things for charcuterie boards. And then same as the other side, I have a little bit of space left over. So if I wanted to put something else on the side here, I could. They have a couple of different combinations to choose from. I got one of each and I love the way that they bring life and color and texture to the drawer. It's not going to be anything that's expensive. And of course, the best part is it's going to help organize it. So everything has its place in your space. I've also talked about these in the past, but I wanted to show you them again. These are so versatile and so useful. I recently saw these when I picked up that duvet cover and I wanted to remind you guys how versatile these canisters really are. First of all, the quality of these are amazing. They're versatile because you can get bamboo lids or glass lids and you can use them for anything, whether it's your detergent, you can use them to store food in the fridge, you can use them to store dry goods like flour and sugar in your pantry and they look beautiful and clean clean. They're a very nice classic shape. I popped on these labels from Amazon that I'm happy to link below for you guys. And you'll have a really nice organized laundry room that is crisp and clean and affordable. Now on this Lazy Susan, I have a couple of different options from the 360 collection as well as a different style with the pop top. This I have my bleach in. I have my freshener beads, my softener, and my regular white vinegar in here. These have the cork top and then this one just has the plastic top that you pop off by pushing the metal here and then the top comes off. So you have so many different options to choose from. You can organize it any way you want. And again, you can use these in the fridge for juice, for cocktails, for mimosas, for fresh squeezed juice. There's so many uses for these. That's why I absolutely love the kitchen section for my Kia. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I will link everything in the description box down below. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.